We're back, people, and today we're going to film on the Commander's offense, looking how the Dolphins' defense can potentially slow them down, have a pretty good game against them. Commander's offense is actually definitely their better unit compared to their defense. They have some talent on that side of the ball. They can make some big plays. They throw the ball a lot. I do feel like the Dolphins' defense has been playing really well, so I think, you know, it'll still be a pretty good matchup, but it will definitely be tougher than what they've faced in some recent weeks. The keys to this game, I know pretty much the usual stuff. The Commanders on early downs, they like to run the ball and uh, get the quick passing game going. They don't run the ball a whole ton, but they'll get a run, they'll use a quick passing game, RPO game, as like a extension of the run game. They are very similar to the Chiefs. They have Eric Bieniemy as their offensive coordinator. They run a similar scheme. I think you can see the Dolphins going to what they did against the Chiefs, which is a lot of split field looks and a lot of base, which was like more than they usually do. And you look at the rest of this game uh, versus the Cowboys, uh, it's really just Sam Howell. You get them into like obviously obvious throwing situations where Howell kind of has to hold on to the ball for a tick longer. This is where they have their biggest plays and their biggest negative plays because he takes a bunch of sacks and he'll uh, try to force some balls in there. But he also is really good at escaping and making plays with his legs, throwing the ball off that, and they get a lot of big plays from that. So it's all about containing Sam Howell within that pocket, make it force him to th hold on to that ball, and then when you get hands on him, bring him to the ground or force him, you know get that pressure and don't allow them to you know make good throws on timing and stuff because they're gonna run the ball and uh they run a lot of meshes they run a lot of similar things to the Chiefs so it's a uh, and the Dolphins defense overall look pretty good versus the Chiefs after that first drive so I'm feeling fairly confident against it but I think it will be a, a decently tough matchup compared to what they've faced recently they do not run the ball a whole ton but they will try to get it going early basically if they go down it just turns into like a huge passing fest for this team and less of the quick passing game too. If they get behind the sticks or also just, you know, behind in score, they're fairly uh, successful running some of this outside zone stuff, some split zone, outside zone. That's where a lot of their success comes from in the running game. They'll do a mix of everything, you know, gap scheme, inside zone, stuff like that. Brian Robinson's a, you know, a decent back. And, but the Dolphins, I think that's kind of been the key to their success is they've stopped the run up front. That's why I think you could see them going base because in base they're definitely stopping the run. And versus outside zone, they definitely have the personnel to play pretty well against that, just being gap discipline. As long as they don't give up any like big plays versus the running game, I don't see this as like a huge issue overall. Basically how they attack the Cowboys and where most of their success came on, because this is a third and one situation, so it's a very manageable one. It just allows Howell to make a quick read, get the ball quickly, and they basically run a rub route. And the Cowboys run a bunch of man-to-man, -man, a lot of cover one comparative to the Dolphins so it will be a little bit different they like to run you know their man beaters they like to run the mesh use you know natural rub routes Dolphins shouldn't have as much trouble with that because they're not playing as much man-to-man -man coverage so as long as you know they're past distributing like they'll have some trouble with mesh I think because they've had throughout the year giving up big plays to that it's just I think they have been a little bit better as of recently, so we'll see how that works out in this game. But this is just the stuff that they like to do, and if they stay ahead of the sticks, make it an easy third and manageable, they're a pretty, you know, good offense. Sam Howell is actually, you know, a good young player, but he does is still prone to making some mistakes. He holds onto that ball for a long, long time. This is another third and short situation. They get the ball to Terry on some mesh. This is like what I was talking about. They're trying to show cover one pre-snap. They rotate out into cover two. And then basically what happens, like the first initial stuff is taken away. They actually disguise their coverage pretty well. And then they're able to get the quick pressure because usually you're, you're running mesh trying to beat some man to man here. But versus zone, they actually covered up pretty well. He takes him. This guy has him, but Howe is able to escape the pocket. And then that allows Terry to open late and they convert the third down. It's literally like how a lot of their big plays happen. Howell's a pretty good athlete. He's also very physical and tough to bring down. Like he's good contact balance, play strength. So you got to be able to wrap and finish. And because he's going to be trying to keep extending with those legs rather than throwing it away a majority of the time. This is second and four. You know, they have a successful first down. They pick up a few yards. They'll go to the RPO game. They'll do it. They're not afraid to run it. They're similar to the Chiefs offense. And they like to run it like this. Like uh, Cowboys are showing like a quarters look pre-snap. And it's definitely their run blocking up front. And you have to stop this because it's different from the Dolphins. The Dolphins will run their RPOs, but they literally have their alignment not work past the yard on the field. Like even on RPOs, they could hold on the ball all day. And then you don't get an eligible man downfield because they just tell their offensive lineman to stop blocking. The commanders are clearly just still run blocking. So if you can, you know, put some pressure on the receivers in these situations, make it not the first read there. You can easily get an eligible man downfield if you force Howe to hold on to that ball. But then they'll take, you know, these easy pitch and catches. They have some pretty good receivers. Terry McLaurin's very good. Uh, Jahan Dotson's a solid young receiver. Samuel's been playing well. They have weapons on that side of the ball. I do feel confident in the Dolphins' defense, but this will be 
a uh, pretty, you know, decently tough matchup, especially uh, on the road. Third and two situation. This is why Washington was able to kind of stay in this game early on and then it, the game got away from them. They were able to stay in like these third and manageable situations from running the ball in the quick passing game. This time the Cowboys are able to stop them running more mesh. This time versus man-to-man -man, trying to create that natural rub, but they just do a good job in coverage. They also get some quick pressure up front. The O-line for Washington isn't that great either. Force how to, you know, throw off platform like this, rolling away, uh, and his receiver isn't open. It just doesn't get completed. It's kind of the keys to the game. Like, the Dolphins offense should have their way. Like, they should be able to, it might, I know it might rain, but like, if you know what, the weather's decent, and, because Washington's, I don't see how the Washington defense can stop the Dolphins offense. Even, like, the Dolphins offense, the only way they get stopped is they beat themselves, which is what they've been doing recently. But I do feel very confident that they're going to have at least a lot of yards. They just have to be able to convert uh, in those situations down in the red zone to get those touchdowns and uh, obviously convert on third and fourth and short is like the biggest thing for the Dolphins offense. But looking at the defense, I feel pretty comfortable uh, with this secondary. They might attack the middle of the field versus the linebackers in the passing game. So it's really just about how much pressure they can get up front. If they can get it quickly, force how to try to, you know, do a little too much and then create, you know, either the sacks or the turnovers. This is definitely like a Chiefs-like concept, you know, the play action and they boot him out in sh uh, in shotgun and they get the blocking here. The receivers kind of get messed up in their route concepts and I think that's the biggest key. Cowboys are playing in more of like a three match in this situation and they're trying to run like a switch release at the top, but they definitely mistime this stuff and everyone gets thrown off. Get how to throw off script and you just get on these receivers like that. As long as you're like... The DBs can have a really good day, I think, even though the receiver matchup is pretty tough. Just because you've seen this stuff on film, you can watch in the Chiefs offense. They'll do this with the Commanders, and the Dolphins played pretty well versus the Chiefs, so it's it's definitely a good sign for them. This is 3rd and 10, and look at the Cowboys. They break a bunch of pressure, so it's literally just, like, first of all, great route, and also really good work from Sam Howell. The anticipation on this throw is actually ridiculous. They hit him with, like, uh, basically a hard plays out that's uh curtis samuel you get to the corner and how throws that ball super early he's very impressive he's got some talent if he sees the matchup he likes he sees this man to man i don't think the dolphins sh need to bring a ton of pressure like i think it's fine every once in a while but i think they can naturally get there with four it's better to i think it's better to force him to hold on to the ball with good coverage rather than force him to you know make a quick decision with pressure because uh, he would rather hold on to the ball and try to make a play. And even though he can have some big positives there, I feel like he's more likely to get a big play like this versus the blitz than the, the other scenario. It's a third and 10. These are the type of situations you're trying to get this offense into, but you can't allow how to get up, step him into the pocket like this, create extra time with his legs, because then that's when the receivers will get open down the field. If he's able to escape the pocket cleanly and keep his eyes up down the field like this, he's going to make some big plays. You can see the you know pocket movement there, pretty solid like awareness on this play. He struggled a lot more earlier in the season in this area, but it's been way better as of late, and that's sort of you know just the key, staying in your pass rush lanes, things like this. Uh, it's just good plays. This type of stuff is uh, tough to stop, but that's also where you can see the potential. Like, hey, he's holding on that ball for a long time. If the defenders can actually get some hands on him, they have a, you know, potential there to make some big plays. Third and 13, Cowboys able to get off the field this time. They show pressure pre-snap, then post-snap. Howe actually has some time, and then he just tries to, you know, hurry up his processing there and force a ball in there that's, you know, uh, not going to get completed. He, you know, probably felt some pressure pre-snap, and that didn't end up coming. It's fit. I think it's okay to show it, but it's, I'd rather have him trying to throw the ball down the field with his timings because I think it's a, a better chance to get him off the field in uh, these situations. As this game started to get more and more out of hand, Cowboys take the lead. It's a first and 10. They start to throw the ball more and more in these situations where he has to hold on to the ball. Even on plays where like it was a quick drop trying to get the ball out with timing and it wasn't there. They take away that first read uh, and he's already got pressure in his face. And he tries to make too much happen. Instead of throw the ball away, he, he you know, you can tell he's looking for this opportunity down the field. It doesn't happen. He takes a sack and that will end up, you know, uh, ruining a drive. These are the plays you got to keep going for, especially as the game goes on and on because these will become, uh, the opportunities will present themselves at a higher rate. And then another sack, this time on fourth and one, you can still get some sacks on him in these situations. That first read's not there that they're trying to do. They actually, you know, pass this stuff off pretty nicely here. He closes, he sees it's not there, so he pump fakes, tries to make a lot happen. It's fourth and one, so he's, you know, forced to in this situation. But they're able to get him this time, bringing five. And he's just always trying to do a lot. Got to be able to, he'll, a lot of times he'll make that first guy miss. So everyone else has to be rallying 
to the quarterback. That's what they're gonna break down versus Commanders since the pick six to Deron Bland, his, you know, the one that like broke the record. They're gonna throw a lot of these like quick outs with timing like this. I think you could see Ramsey trying to jump this stuff as well. It's gonna happen a couple times throughout the game. He hits that back foot, you see it, you jump that, get, I mean, that's just a great play by Deron Bland. And then he gets the pick six makes Howe look silly, makes the running back look silly, and they run into each other. But yeah, there's definitely potential here to make some big plays versus offense, but they're also going to have some big plays. Just got to be able to, you know, overall have more big plays against them because it's a pretty, you know, explosive offense. That stuff's going to happen. Try to keep them out of the end zone, but I do feel pretty good about how the defense has looked. The Phillips injuries hurts too, but so if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.